what's happening YouTube. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm having a great day. Why? Because we're talking plants. That's why. All right. Uh, several new subs. I appreciate you all. And thank you to all of these subscribers who were good sports about my uh, joke posts the other day. Uh, yeah, I was making fun of sponge filters. You know, sometimes I do that. I make fun of plants too, even though I love all plants. Uh, so today we are going to talk about do plants have a lifespan? Do my aquarium plants have a time that they are definitely going to die? Well, yes, obviously they will. Uh, the reason I'm having this is I bumped into a forum the other day and uh, I saw people arguing about if plants live forever or not. Um, I thought it was ridiculous. I got out of there quickly. Uh, nothing can last forever. But I'm going to break down the lifespans of the majority of uh, aquarium plants you're going to bump into. So, what happens to plants as they age? Well, just like humans and just like animals, their cells will start to divide. They'll also duplicate. And the older they are, the slower that process will be because it's getting older. Eventually, the process stops completely. There's no more cell development. And what happens next? You die. All right, so... What kind of plants are we going to find for our aquarium? So there are three main types of plants that we're going to deal with. Biennials, perennials, annuals, and then we got rhizome plants that act a little funny, and we'll talk about those. All right, so let's start with perennials because the majority of our aquarium plants are perennials. So what does that mean? What is a perennial? A perennial is a plant that germinates so they make new plants by germinating they also uh, duplicate themselves so we're talking about runner plants uh, dwarf chain sword uh, dwarf sagittaria and of course bellicinaria so these plants clone themselves and they germinate once a year perennials lose all their leaves and then they'll grow back well how many times can they do that before they die well perennials can do it three to four times uh, before it's just permanent, but they've been germinating, so it just it seems as if they go on forever. All right, now biennials, uh, those live for two years, germinate and die. What kind of aquarium plants will we uh, buy that would behave this way? Well, cryptocorns, uh, your bog plants, cryptocorns, your sword plants like Amazons, and your Java ferns. Uh, those can live for several years. They can throw runners or germinate, any of that, depending on how cold it gets. So uh, they can actually tolerate colder temps than your perennials. So they can last for that two years and throw runners before they die and come back. And then we have annuals. How long do annuals live? Annuals are a plant that only live for a single season. Just one. They may only live through March. They germinate and die. What kind of plants would we have that would behave like this? Some of your stem plants, like Lawigia, those are going to do it. Others are more on the perennial side and can also just yearly die and come back. But they can also duplicate by being broken off and floating off and starting a new one that way. So, we have annuals, they grow the fastest. Perennials, they're the runner-up. And then we have the biennials, they grow the slowest. Okay, now with rhizome plants, they can behave several ways. Anubias, they do grow flowers if you get them close enough to the surface. And by the way, uh, their flowers are gorgeous. And secondly, when they do start to bloom, leave it alone. Uh, it's not going to grow leaves during that whole time that flowering is happening. So, Anubias, how do they duplicate? Well, out in the wild, they grow like a vine. All right, and the vine continues to grow and sprout a couple leaves. Now, near the rear of it, slowly, over the years, it starts to, the tail starts to die as it's going up with it. All right, now, they can also uh, be duplicated by snipping the rhizome. So if you've got a rope of Anubius this long, you can go between all the leaves, snip it all in half, and make that many more plants. But yes they still, too, will die slowly. Even though the rhizome continues to grow, the tail dies behind it. 
Um, and then we have our ferns. Their leaves can last for several years also, who also grow like a vine where the tail slowly dies behind it while the front continues to grow. Java fern have a very weird and unique way of uh, duplicating outside of snipping the rhizome. They got a third option happening off the leaves. They grow little spuds right off every leaf and make whole new little little uh, java ferns, little tiny ones, and you're like, how's it gonna get like this big? Cause it is. So, I'm, oh, I'm not always the best at explaining uh, things. So if, if at any part in here you got confused, just ask a question and uh, I'll, I'll be able to type it out in a better format that's more understandable. But I hope that broke it down for you in a way. And we're not going to talk about the terrestrial plants, the giant trees and shrubs, because we don't grow those. Those aren't in our aquariums. And that's a whole other subject because some of them live for hundreds of years. Our aquarium plants. Some have a season. Some have a year. Some have two years. So keep that in mind, and that's in a nutshell.